Well now, good morning everyone. Welcome, welcome on this Tuesday morning. Man, it is good to be back on video. Here we are, it's 4.56 in the morning and check it out, man. I'm up, I'm feeling good, got a cup of coffee. Enjoying or reveling in the success of being back on video after yesterday. And fingers are crossed, I'm hopeful I'm gonna upload this video on the first attempt. So I'm gonna see if I'm able to to learn, not only learn, but retain the information that I learned yesterday about uploading. So this morning's video, um, gonna talk a little bit, well, two different things. One is they're talking about uh, stickability. In other words, when you learn something, how long does it stick to you? How long do you, how much do you internalize that? So let's say, for example, you practice a certain way to breathe while running. How, do you do that only at practice or does it stick with you all the runs? So we talked a little bit about stickability and that's mostly because I wanna see how this upload process sticks in my mind and in my life. And I'm confident that that will do well. We'll see here in about a minute and a half I try to upload this. Uh, the second thing I wanna talk about is what we're working on in practice right now. Um, this week we're, we're doing a little bit of work on half mile repeats. And the, the first part of the week practice is learning how to run that half mile repeat, not at just an easy average run, but also not at your red line. To kind of run at that spot that you're engaged, you're comfortable, you're moving, but if you needed to shift gears, you could just shift gears and go. And it wouldn't be a really big deal. So basically what you're doing is, is you're kind of aware of all your strength, but you're not using it. You're aware that you're, you're breathing strong. You're just, you know, shoulder, sternum, shoulder, upper body is really, you know, really broad. You have this deep breathing and you're like, man, I feel great. I could step it up a notch, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna kind of just kind of hold back and learning how to, how to find comfort there and run there. So in this current training, we're really kind of getting ready for half marathon. And we talk about it in half marathon and in marathon training. It's finding that pace, finding that groove, perceived effort wise listen to how your body feels and running in that spot that's sustainable but you can also increase increase your pace which would give you what a negative split run so I want you to think about when you're running where on that spectrum you're running at are you running just like easy just a regular old run are you running just hey I'm running really hard really fast what are your degrees in there like do you know where you can we can kind of shift gears where, hey, this is an easy, now I can kind of get here, which, yeah, just a little bit, nice comfortable run, you know, um, nice medium run, like a medium brisk run, a brisk run, and then a real hard run. Um, learning those gears and learning how to kind of click into those and, and what they feel like. In other words, where's your breath different? Where's your torso engagement different? Where's your pace different? And finding comfort in those where you're able to kind of switch back and forth kind of like driving a car or riding a bicycle. Very similar stuff. So that's what we're working on. So when you go out on your next run, or next walk, or next ride, or next swim, or even lifting, find out on that, that range, where are you at? What type of effort are you putting forth? And how comfortable are you there? One of the hardest things when you lift in the gym is to kind of stay at that level. Most people will, will either just lift light, like yeah, just kind of go through the motions, or most people say, okay, I'm gonna go lift really heavy. But sometimes it's really hard to kind of find that, that right spot where it's like, oh, it's not easy, but it's not difficult and be comfortable there. And that's what we're working on. So thanks again for watching. I apologize for the break that we had last month, but uh, have a good, strong, successful day. Mine's already starting, it's 5 a.m. Have a great one. Bye everyone.